Hello, boys and girls. This is the Anana. I'm going to be reading today out of the classic Bible stories. And I'm going to read to you about Joseph. Let us bless the reading of the word. Heavenly Father, Lord, bless the reading of your holy, precious word. Let your word be planted and rooted within our home, our heart, our mind, and soul and spirit. In each and everything we do and say, Father God, may we never forget to give you all honor, glory, and praise. Bless our mouth when we speak of you. Bless our ears to hear from you. Bless our mind to be set on you. Bless our heart to be loving as you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And we pray that this word will not only be planted and rooted within us, Heavenly Father, but that we may bear fruit from it and be able to share your word with others. We thank you, Lord, and give you praise. Amen. Joseph's Dream. You will find this in the book of Genesis, chapter 37. Years later, Jacob and his family moved back to Kenyon the land where Jacob's father had stayed. Jacob had 12 sons named Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishgar, Zelbon, Dan, Nephali, Gad, Asher, Joseph, and Benjamin. Joseph was very special to Jacob. Jacob gave Joseph a beautiful robe. He, his other brother, his older brother, and the others were jealous of the special attention their father gave to Joseph. Listen, Joseph said to his brothers one day, I had a very strange dream. We were binding sheaves of grain in the field. Suddenly my sheaf stood up while all of yours gathered around me and bowed to me. He had another dream in which the sun and the moons and 11 stars bow to him who do you think you are his brothers asked him do you think that you are better than all of us do you think that we will bow down to you joseph's dream what well, his dreams made his brothers even more jealous of him but his father thought carefully about his son's dreams one day jacob sent joseph to check on his brothers in the field when they saw Joseph coming, they planned to kill him. Reuben, the oldest, said, Do not kill him. Just throw him in this well and leave him. Reuben planned to come back later and rescue Joseph. When Joseph came, they tore off When Joseph came, they tore off his beautiful robe and threw him in the well. Some merchants came by, and the brothers sold Joseph to them as a slave. When Reuben came to try to pull Joseph out the well, he was gone. He was on his way to the land called Egypt, where merchants sold him to Potiphar, captain of the guard, the pharaoh of Egypt. The rest of the brothers dipped Joseph's beautiful robe in goat's blood and took it back to their father. Jacob believed that Joseph had been killed by a wild animal. Jacob mourned greatly for his son for many weeks. So on in this story I want to talk to you about dreams. Dreams can be visions from God, can be a sign from God, can be um Stuff that, you know, God will show you that are going to happen or um, just signs and visions. And sometimes a lot of our dreams come true or come to pass, should I say. And then um, when God speaks to us in dreams, sometimes he can clearly make it more clear when we talk about it to someone else who understand dreams and um, some I don't call scary dreams dreams I call them nightmares so dreams to me are positive stuff that God gives us that are going to come to pass or 
um, is a sign, a warning, um, a vision, a positive vision for our life, or a warning to just let us know and prepare us. Because sometimes God shows us in dreams and prepare us for um, destruction in the future, like something that will happen. Um, it could, like, it could be a destruction. It could be something joyful. I mean, God speaks to us also in dreams. So God was speaking to Joseph in dreams, showing him how the brothers will bow down to him. And he couldn't understand why he kept dreaming of, you know, stuff bowing down to him. He don't know that the power and authority that he will have in the future Okay, and then I want to point out about jealousy. Jealousy is not a feeling that we should carry or we should feel towards our brothers and sisters because um, in God's eyes, we are all brothers and sisters. And God wants us all to love one another equally and to support each other. Um, jealousy can grow anger jealousy can grow hatred jealousy can make you be a mean person so jealousy is not a good thing to be or to act or to carry in your spirit so if you feel any jealousy you, you tell God to help you deliver you from the jealousy and you tell that devil to flee of jealousy that you're not going to carry that you don't want to feel that towards your brothers and sister and um we're going to talk about favor now god has favor and blessings and it's not saying you're my favorite favor he favors those who spend time with him he f gives you favor when he sees that you are becoming the person that you are lined up to be so favor is is like showing support to the righteous and being blameless of you're not perfect you're not innocent but you're blameless of all these other things that people do and say that want to live in the world and be worldly like and Favor is not being a favorite. Favor falls into blessings and how you see, okay, I'm going to, since you've been doing so good, you, you, I want to give you this. I want to bless you with this. I want to bless you with money or I want to bless you with this gift. So just remember, favor does not mean you're someone's favorite favor is because they see your works that you have done and they feel that you deserve something in return um now jacob which is joseph and all the brothers father he mourned mourn means when someone is depressed because of what well, is a heavy sadness mourning means like um, you're crying, you're heavy hearted, your your heart is broken, and mourning can lead into um, depression if you cry just so much and stay in that mourning. So I can just imagine Jacob holding his son's coat with blood and not holding his son in his arms and just thinking that a wild animal must have eaten him but yet the brothers sit around and know the truth all these you know years or the time that has passed by so um also with um jealousy you you can lead to a person to be a person that you're not, you're, people won't trust you. As soon as someone sees, oh, that person be jealous of this and jealous of that, you're, you, you become a person that's not trusted. So in this story, I want to really point out about 
how we should be as brothers and sisters. We should always want to uplift one another and love one another as we should, as Christ has loved us. Jesus didn't divide. He, he When he was on earth, he didn't divide everyone. He loved everyone equally and he tried to see the best in everyone. Yes, the enemy was around, but he always recognized that's the enemy working in you. So um, I'm going to pray for you. And that's what we're supposed to do to, for our brothers and sisters. When we see something that is not of God, then we pray for them. 